Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Royal Mike, and we're here today for fan of a drawing number six. Ta -da -ta -da -ta -da. Yes, that's right, guys. Fan of a drawing is back with another episode with a new season. And today, the theme is Mall, as sponsored by our two very dear people, Pensia and Mall Media. You might know Mall Media from his YouTube channel. It's cookie red and quirky videos, cookie fun and stuff. And Pants here, who used to own Collab Court, but not anymore, I think? I don't know, she still does stuff in there or something. Collab Court is a Discord server where artists can collab on a big drawings and or stuff like that, too, I guess. I don't know what they're up to now, but that's the gist of it when I first joined. So, yeah, that's the theme for this fan of a drawing. More! Hello, everybody. I'm sorry here. It's been a while since the first oven draw, so I decided to basically participate in this next one, which, on the previous one, th there was no voiceover due to the fact that my video was kinda long. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Blue Aqua Cat here with oven draw number 6. Hey guys, long time no see. This is Levy, aka Levy Royale. And today, after 10,000 years, we're finally here for... ANOTHER OVEN DRAW! Good morning, good afternoon, good night, good whatever. I'm Crofflin, and this is my first time doing a voiceover of my oven draw video. Hello everyone, it's me, Pixie, and welcome to Oven Draw! Hello everyone! Alright, guess what I'm gonna say next? That's right, welcome back to another episode of Oven Draw. Alright, so let's get started, shall we? Mo, mo, mo. Now, here's this is a big problem for me, guys. Mo is not a not a flavor, you know. Well, neither was uh, I forgot what's uh, the diamond a uh, gem burst on, yeah, burst on. Neither was burst on, but at least it's an object. With a mo, a mo is a freaking animal. And like you know me, I don't draw animal well. I don't draw anything well, but Mo is just gonna add another layer of insult to that, so it was kind of one of the reasons why I don't want to do this one because what if I mess up? I don't know how to draw a Mo and it's just gonna make people cringe. But hey, I guess that's kind of the whole point of me because I'm just here for these I'm kind of a drawing. To act like the guy who can draw but tries anyway to make the video a little bit more funnier. Uh, so I, I suppose I should just like stop trying to make something cool and just gonna lean into it, you know, but, uh, just draw it and uh, see how it goes. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. So let's try to draw more. Anyways, the theme chosen for this Alandra was mold. No, not the food. Or the facial one. I'm talking about the animal. And the process for this specific one kind of got mixed up with the fact that I was taking a screenshot for the progress so far. And it kind of just glitched out. So, the theme is mole, right? I didn't want to draw a mole. <laughs> uh, that's right, I screwed the rolls over. Screw them over. Take that, guys. <laughs> but no, nah, JK, I actually made a vol. If you don't know what a vole is, a vole is basically a field mice that has a bushy tail and it kind of digs in the ground, I think. And it also does property damage, which is pretty awesome. Wait, no, it's not. Okay, so, moles. Expected, because we have mole maniac in our area now. But I knew this team may give me a hard time because, like I said before, drawing animals isn't my greatest forte. However, that didn't stop me from going out of my comfort zone. So, I'll be showing you here my cookie mold design. Yay! Today, I'm gonna be submitting a cookie named Yellow Child Cookie. Yellow Child Cookie is a mole cookie who lives in the Dragon Valley and is currently working as a miner to fulfill his family's needs. Uh, as you did see, I participated in Oven Draw before. It's just, you know, one of my first times doing a voiceover. And today we're doing mole cookies. My god, I never really expected this as an Oven Draw prompt, but you know, here we go. As you know, the theme this time is the animal mole. 
which is quite a challenge for me actually. I kind of guess about the mall theme since long ago after the host teased the server about it and I already came up with a rough design of my mall cookie since then, which is this guy. They were supposed to be a powerful mafia in Parfadia because, you know, malls operate underground and the underground can be a metaphor to the crime world, I guess. Let's try to draw a cookie first. So we have a hat. Yeah, that's a hat, alright. That's a beautiful hat. Don't you guys dare tell me that I don't know how to draw a hat. Okay, that's a hat. Um, <laughs> I'm just messing around. Okay, so Mo, that's supposed to have like the uh, spiky. Spiky? Oh my god, uh, I'm trying to do this in one take, but it's definitely not gonna go so well. Um, yeah, they have like this uh, spiky, spiky thing for the. Fingers and uh, a legs of food, something like that. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna try to make them uh, like wearing something too. Um, okay, we have eyes. <laughs> I just, I just stop. I just stop trying to make them smile so much like that. Uh, okay, that's way too big eyes. Uh, I think, I think that's good though. Uh, I, I like this I, I like this face, it's funky, so... Anyways, the lore for this character, which their name is Yukamo, based on the vegetable. The specific animal is mostly specialized on medicines and other kinds of stuff that could easily help a cookie to cure them from an illness. And to clarify, no, they cannot break curses. Those are almost unbreakable to even try to break. Now let's talk about design elements, shall we? My little vole has a little tail, but it's a peanut flower. The hat is a walnut. The claws are made of tree bark. The goober itself is made of cheese, and the belt is made out of granola. Now, wouldn't that sound like a good old bag of trail mix to you? Because that's what it is to me. This is the trail mix cookie, or it's just the trail mix bowl. I don't know if it counts as a cookie, since you know, I, I don't, I don't know if moles are cookies in this universe. I know, in the concept art, there was like a bunch of moles the time the Golden Cheese Kingdom, and that's where this little scrimble lives, Golden Cheese Kingdom. So this is Brownie Mole Cookie. To give a short background, he's a small shape-shifting mole that transforms into a giant mole, who digs tunnels to steal root crops and treasures. Once he's done though, he's gonna sell them to the market, without the original owners knowing about it. Or maybe they do, I don't know, lol. Yellow child cookie is actually still quite young, but rather than spending his time with his friends, he rather spending it with his family, finding crystals and other shiny things to sell for profits. As you can see, I have a mole cookie here. And, well, not any mole cookie. This is Aka mole cookie, or however you pronounce it. And you know, I just got a certain vibe from this cookie. Like they were a librarian or... Uh, I don't know, some other job that doesn't involve digging? Because, you know, uniqueness. However, after the theme is officially announced, everyone started posting their own mole cookie. And I noticed everyone gave their cookies more animalistic attributes, while mine is completely humanoid. The only few elements in their design that calls back to the mall theme is the mall fur coat and their blindness. So I was like, oh crap, I misunderstood the assignment. And quickly scrap the mall cookie and make another cookie that looks more like an actual mall.
did you know way back from my first uh, fan of a drawing? I like to use Plus vs. Zombie for one of my inspirations, so... And I know that there's a sweet potato in Plus vs. Zombie, so maybe I should try to just use that for some reason. Sweet potato. Potato tomato. It's whatever it is. Uh, this is gonna be a girl again? I don't know. We're just gonna try and go with it. Um, so, sweet potato has this little... Thing. Okay. Yeah? I don't know how to draw clothes, guy. I'm really sorry about this. Maybe this cell part could just be, like, one big thing. That. And, uh, something there. And something there. Good, good, good. Oh, fine. It wants to be all tough and strong, just like those cheese moles, I think. I forget what they're about. They, it was, like, in the concept art book. I'll put an image on the screen, but, yeah. The, it can't really dig, but like thanks to the help of Gouda Griffin Cookie, it kind of learned how to do that. I think that's pretty awesome, you know, just a little symbiotic relationship. Gouda Griffin helps him dig, and Trail Nix helps him learn how to fly. Because they were child and they made each other. Okay, so for the design. I was originally going to use the actual mold brownie tart, picture provided, but I wasn't satisfied with the colors. So I decided to go for the chocolate and nuts route. It's kind of cheating, but who cares? And I'm still going for the actual mold design instead of the typical humanoid or cookie-like features because I'm so used to drawing them already. And besides, I need more animal shape-shifting cookie OCs. And I mean more. Now these are just some general things about him. I actually haven't constructed his lore yet because I'm lazy. So yeah, those are all I can provide for you guys. Um, they like jewelry a lot. Uh, I just really went for a warm color scheme here. I don't know. I don't really do well on lore for oven draw cookies. It's just, you know, like a spot of the imagination. So for the new mall cookie, I first decided that their name would be Taro Mall Cookie. Taro has purplish white flesh and brown peel. So Taro Mall has purple skin and brown outfit. As you may notice from some of the previous Often Draw episodes, I love incorporating the flavors shape into the cookie's clothing. So Taro Mall's pants and jacket sleeve resemble the bulbous form of the Taro Corn. You can have with this motorcycle running around 2 a.m. in the freaking morning. Uh, don't, don't ask why it's 2 a.m. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Oh, the hair is kind of interesting. I think you need to like. Okay. Good hair. I appreciate the effort. I think... We're just gonna roll with that. Now onto the gimmick of our boy. So our boy has this super awesome ability where it's very small. It's about as small as a pet, if you can see the image on screen. So our little boy is able to like interchange between being a cookie and a pet. 
If you look at the skill, it would be able to like dig into the ground and then come back up and just attack some of either high DPS or like one of the healers in the back. I don't know. And then as a pet, it'll probably create like, I don't know, peanut jellies or like some type of jelly and it just kind of gives it to the player's points. And you can kind of interchange if you want to do a run as like as a cookie or do a run as a pet, then you have the choice to do so. It's a small, it can adapt, it can change. It doesn't have to be just a mole. It can also be a vol. Finally, for his skill, he'll be oven break based. It's cause I don't see him playable in Kingdom, so L. His skill will be based on his shape-shifting stealing ability. You spam both jump and slide buttons to keep digging a tunnel. While digging, you'll earn points by collecting root crops and treasures. With the magic candy, however, the design looks harsh, don't judge me. You earn 15 plus points for the treasures. He has bandaged hands and a huge scar running across his grumpy, toughened up face because he's a seasoned fighter in a legal underground arena run by Mole Poblano Cookie. Yeah, that's our mafia guy earlier. Notice that Mole Poblano isn't actually the animal mole, but it's a type of sauce, which is fitting since Mole Poblano Cookie has no actual mole features on their design. I came up with this backstory of him after brainstorming about the new Mole Cookie with a friend. Thanks again for the idea, Ako. How, how, how do you make someone hold a basket? I don't know. But the basket is not the correct color for me right now, and that is way too bright. Okay, there's a basket. And inside the basket are a lot, and I mean a lot of sweet potato, potato, tomato. Oh yeah, look at all those tomato. Tomat, more tomato, more potatoes. More is always good. That's my mom cookie, sweet potato cookie, if you will. I need to write the signature out here as I always do. Sweet potato cookie, her skill. Yeah, I'm back to writing skill. What do you ask? Oh my god, that is not the kind of color I wanted. Uh, the skill. I. That is not her. That that is her. Um, I I, I don't know. She's gonna run, and she's gonna pick up sweet potato from the sweet potato. Are they? Yeah, I think so. And uh, that's basically gonna be like beats thing because. I am a random Kevin fan, and you basically just have to pick it up on the beat. Uh, this is some beat thing that I'm simulating here. This is where the beat has to, the beat runs from here, and then when it hits here, you click it, and boom, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, and then occasionally, in the way of these potatoes, are gonna be a mole, bad mole, these mole, they are bad. They are not very good, Mo. I want to steal all the potato, potato, potato tomato. And it's basically, uh, it's gonna be like a different kind of beat. So like the normal beats, they go one, two, one, two, one, two, and then the Mo is gonna be on the off beat or something. And you're gonna have to hit a little bit faster or slower to protect, to kick them away. For the, so yeah, she's gonna wear this kind of big basket in the back, so the potato can go in there while the mole gonna get flung away if you know what game I'm referencing to, kudos to you uh, yeah that's only gonna be oven break because I really can't afford to figure out kingdom and I don't think she's gonna be fitting in a kingdom setting anyway so yeah there isn't exactly a lot of process going on with this character or any story for that matter but the process was kind of simple to be honest Anyways, here's the final sign, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye! So yeah, I think that's basically the gimmicks for this cookie. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. That's the, that's the funny. Now here's an actual funny. That's all for my oven draw process. I'm proud of what my mold turned out and I think he's gonna be a fine addition to my shape-shifting cookie OCs.
So uh, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. But hey, how about we take a look at his old design? Yeah, not very from that. So I decided to reframe him completely, change his flavors, take some inspiration from habanero cookie, and he's done. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is my first time doing this, and I am really happy about it. So maybe I'll just see you guys next up and drop. Bye bye. So yeah, that's my take on the mall theme taro mall cookie. This is my first time drawing animal cookies, so let me know what do you think about my design. So that's all for this episode of Often Draw. See you again next time. Bye bye. And with all the other artists showing off the final mall cookie, it's gonna be the end for this fan of a drawing. A return to the series and hopefully many more to come in the future. Hope you guys enjoy. Let us know in the comment which mall cookie was your favorite. Join the Discord server so you can participate in more of a draw videos. Goodbye for now, and I'll see you in the next episode.